What's up, everybody? Renee Loki Geek here, back with another reaction watch along, and we are at episode two of The Last of Us. The title of this episode is called Infected, and that's what those clickers are. They are people who are infected, as we have learned in episode one, how the infection probably spread. There are rumors on the internet right now uh, that the speculation is that the infection was spread through bread in the wheat since it's kind of, you know, plant-based and all that stuff like that. Is it true? Will we learn more about that in this episode? Maybe. That'll be interesting to find out. Kind of look like an X-Men, but I guarantee you that the other half of this uniform is not X-Men represented. I don't know if that's if I'm saying that correct, but I'm excited for this episode. I've been I really really enjoyed episode one, and so far this series has started off with a bang. So looking forward to see what this episode has in store for us. And look, if you enjoy this, do me a favor. It takes you only a couple of seconds. Doesn't cost you a thing. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time a brand new video is uploaded onto the channel. All right, who's ready? Let's watch this episode two of The Last of Us. Ooh. Back in a city. Was it, is this Indonesia? Oh yeah, it looks Indonesia. I think this is a callback because the conversation that Ellie and Joel had, not Ellie, sorry, Sarah and Joel had in the beginning of last episode was about uh, some stuff happening in Indonesia, I believe. So we could be seeing what, whatever that thing is that was on the news or what have you. He has scientist. Maybe she's a scientist. Oh, professor. Don't you worry, we have the right person. We're not that stupid. Oh, everyone was waiting for her. Everyone's just expecting her to come. Will hazmat suits ever be fashionable? Like, you know, every time they have someone in a hazmat suit, it's so like clunky looking, puffy. It's not very form fitting. You know, this one looks like a giant Ziploc bag with ears. Oh, there's the bike mark. Eee, What's that? Oh, watch your fingers. Watch your fingers. Hell yeah, get the hell out of there. Surprise. It's spaghetti. Jadi kapan ini terjadinya, Pak? Kurang lebih 30 jam yang lalu, Bu. Di mana? Di pabrik tepun dan gabah di barat kota. Flour and grains. Oh, see there you go. I think the bread theory is correct. Siapa yang membuat perempuan itu, Pak? Yeah, that's a, that's a big question. Who's patient zero? Are they saying that the whole virus started in Indonesia? That's where Ellie comes in. Burn it all down. Just burn it up. The hell out of there. Oh, see? Oh, <laughs> they're gonna napalm. Burn everything. Bomb the whole city. Oh, hoo -hoo. damn. That's it. Wipe them out. All of them. Made your call there, Professor. Oh, wait, is she saying bomb everyone, including 
herself? Oh, everyone, everyone. Damn. That's serious. Yeah, I like that, again, we're getting more backstory and more insight as to how, you know, the incident started, how the infectious uh, disease or whatever you want to call this thing, how the infection spread. If what they're telling us is to hold up, it looks like it's coming from Indonesia somehow. And it started within a grain factory. So, yeah, that bread theory could be pretty damn accurate. And then it would make sense because that's how this thing could have easily has spread, right? What if it was spread through rice and bread? You know, a lot of people eat that stuff. So that would, you know, make a lot of sense. Ellie, your journey awaits. Oh, <laughs> they're just watching her. I mean, I would be pretty paranoid, too. It looks pretty much healed. Test you. How? They'd make me count to ten and hold out my hand and then keep it steady. But you know, I think the only lesson was the fact that I didn't turn into a fucking monster. <laughs> Kids. The mouth of these kids, no respect. Oh, funny. Why? Why is everyone hating on Tess, the actress playing Tess? I think she's doing a pretty good job. His hand is so out of out of whack because of the pummeling he gave that poor guard. How is she eating? Chicken. Yep. Chicken. chicken. I want some of that chicken. Love that chicken from Popeyes. I'm gonna talk to you like you're an adult. Okay. Joe and I aren't good people. We're doing You want that chicken. If you're worth something. But we don't know what you're worth if we don't know what we have. So answer my question. Who is your daddy and what does he do? Let's just finish it. It doesn't matter if she is or she isn't what the Fireflies say. If they believe that she is, then we get what we want. As simple as that. If she so much as twitches. <laughs> don't. <laughs> What a little brat. <laughs> Can I have a gun? Absolutely no. not. Okay, Jesus, fine. I'll just have a fucking sandwich up. Nice. I, I love the soundtrack. It, it really brings me back to the game. They hit most of the big cities like this. They had to slow the spread somehow. Crazy how like that was like the only solution was just to bomb everything. Again, shouldn't be surprised. That seems to be always the solution. You have to check it from the hotel first. Okay. So at which part are at which point are we gonna have them or Joel swim in water, carry a huge uh, platform plank so that Ellie can hop on it and float her to the other side of where they're trying to go. Because, you know, Ellie can't swim, right? <laughs> Just a little call back to the video game. Did you get bit? You know the old mold in the QZ? I wanted to see what it was like. Didn't think there was going to be anything in there and then one just came at me out of nowhere. Thought I got away, but... So it was just you in there alone? No, it wasn't. Yeah. We'll learn more about that moment, I'm sure. That is a very significant moment in the story. Boyfriend. I'm an orphan and uh, no. Again, we'll learn more about that, exactly like that. I'm sure, in another episode. Oh, it's a piano. Ah. 
<laughs> oh, the WB. Oh, here's the water part. All right, so let me guess. We're going to find out Ellie can't swim. And Joe has to find a way to transfer her from one side to the other. Wait, are we going in there? Yeah, we got to get to the stairwell on the other side. Well, I, I don't know how to swim. Eh? That's hilarious. That is so taken out of the video game. That's great. Yeah, everyone who's played the game is very familiar with like this hotel. It's great that they included it in this in the show. I think that's a nice touch. At which point is Slimer going to show up eating hot dogs? Oh, sorry, wrong. Oh, give us enough time to chit chat and learn more about each other. Nice knife. Where'd you learn to do that? The circus. <laughs> Such a smart ass. <laughs> A lot of green. I guess green was the motif of this hotel, huh? Ooh, wow. <laughs> like a hive mind. Stretching over a mile. And you're stuck on a patch of cordyceps in one place. And you can wake a dozen infected from somewhere else. Nice extra detail about how it all works. Like that's definitely a little bit more in depth than you got from the game. I have to say, like the special effects and uh especially with the sceneries is very well done here. It doesn't look so overly CG'd. It looks very realistic. What, they don't have the flashlight that hooks onto your backpack strap? Well, I, I guess that kind of counts, right? I guess we're going to be experiencing our first intense encounter of the infected. Hold on to your butts. Hey, everybody. Are you a fan of collectibles, action figures, Funko Pops, and all that stuff like that? Do me a favor and visit EntertainmentEarth.com and you won't be sorry. Entertainment Earth is the premier place online for the latest and greatest toys, the most exciting action figures, and the coolest gifts and collectibles pop culture has to offer. From television, movies, sports, celebrities, comics, internet memes, and every fandom in between, they drop new products daily and curate their selection so that you don't miss out. Whether you're looking for something stellar from a galaxy far, far away with Star Wars, or from the streets of Gotham City with DC Comics, they've got surprises for everyone. Get access to exclusive releases and limited run pre-orders. You can even reserve hard-to-find items before they arrive. From Funko to Hasbro, all your favorite vendors are represented in their robust catalog of cool collectibles. Take advantage of their unparalleled industry expertise and make your collection as worthy as Marvel's Thor. They are pleased to offer risk-free shopping with their industry-leading mint condition guarantee and hassle-free 90-day returns. Find that grail you're seeking for yourself or someone you love. And because I know how special they are and how they're going to be great for a lot of you out there, I worked a special deal with them that if you check out the link featured in the description of this episode, you will get 10% off plus free shipping over orders of $40 or more. I mean... That is fantastic, don't you think? Now, the 10% discount is only good for uh, in-stock merchandise, so it doesn't work for any pre-orders, but if you take a look at their site, there's going to be a lot of stuff they have in stock that you'll probably want to get. So again, visit that special link in the description of this episode to take advantage of this awesome 10% offer plus free shipping and buy yourself or a loved one something really cool. Entertainment Earth, 
so many toys, so much fun. Ooh, no, that dude's that's recent. That's fresh. What the fuck did that? Okay, from this point forward, we are silent. Fucking. No yep. Oh, are they going to show like a special effect with like the radar sense where you can see like silhouettes through the walls or whatever? Again, call back to the video game. Starting to get some anxiety. <laughs> this episode, like the way they handle these moments, is going to be very pivotal. No. Ooh, what's that? Is that the house settling? Or the museum settling, I should say? Kind of like Stranger Things, right? Like how. Uh, all these like remnants and stuff just grows and attaches to all that to anything like the the upside down the vines i guess in this case the fungi oh man you know it's so much for keeping quiet that's definitely not going to help their cause. Oh, here we go. Eee! Ooh, oh, there it is. Ah! Watch where you're backing up. Oh, no, it's another one. Oh, let's be quiet. They'll pass by. Yep. For your mouth. <laughs> Man, this is so intense. Probably like right by you. Yep. Oh, <laughs> hell no. Hell no. Out of there, run, run, run. Headshot. Nice. The end. Woo. They look good. They did a good job with uh the design, the makeup. What, she got bit again? I mean, if it was gonna happen to one of us. What? How the hell does she get bit again? Is that, a, what, to prove the point that nothing's gonna happen? That's kind of ridiculous. It's a bit much. Over there? Yeah, no, it looks scary. That was scary. This is oh, that's cool. The, the wooden right planks right to go roof to roof. Again, very similar to the video game. That's pretty neat. I like that. I like that they kept, they keep those type of elements. You know, it's it's very well and much appreciated. Is it everything you hoped for? Jury's still out. But man, it can't depend on you. <laughs> Hey, 
I mean, I love the fact that she's like so much like a, fr a fish out of water, you know, how she has never had a chance to really live a normal life and see a lot of these things. I, I, I do like that touch. That everything is going to be like wow to her. All she knows is the crap and shit that happened because of all of this. So she's been pretty much secluded. Oh, wait, is this? Oh, no. Are we going to get this now? Oh, don't tell me. Man, it's a trap. Don't do it. Oh, no. We are going to see this now. What? Wait a minute. Oh, no way. Oh, what? It, wow, that's a change. That's different. Oh, oh wow, look at that. That's creepy. Oh, wow. Oh, interesting so it's calling to it's like an alarm it's like over here they're here go get them wow yeah this is a departure from the game for sure All right burn it down Wow, that was nice. That was good acting right there. Well, if you're going to go, go out in a blaze of glory, right? Oh, that's a lot of freaking infected. Just shoot one of the grenades. Come here, give me a kiss, you sexy thing, you. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so gross. Boom. Ah, that's that's messed up. Well, Ellie. Welcome to the real world. All of this just to make sure that you are safe and sound. Oh, heartbreaking. Mm, that was just rough. Okay, that was a very interesting episode. Uh, the episode did a lot of explaining. And it definitely was an episode that was meant to do more of the world building. More of the understanding of how the infection reacts and acts and behaves and kind of the consequences that comes along with all of that. I like how they expanded on pretty much the lore and canon of the fungus. How, you know, it kind of started and how it really spreads and communicates. One of the more um, intriguing things about the game, and I guess what we have been confirmed now, if you've watched the little segment after the episode, Spores played a very big deal in the video game, and that's pretty much how the, in the infection spreads. It's either you get bit or it's airborne through spores. And what they're doing here in a way they, they kind of explain it is that, well, spores do doesn't really spread like that hugely um, in real life, right? So they wanted to keep it a little bit more realistic. So they really focus and hone in more on how the fungal nature of the virus is you know how it spreads through you know just like how fungus spreads you know it, it just like hops from one thing to another and then it has like a network where it could communicate with nature and all that and that's how everything kind of happens you know those those threads uh they have a term for it um but that's what helps the spread of the the infection that's why when they were in that building you could see like the dead 
the, those threads were forming around them and it was kind of like uh, injecting them with life. And then that's what kind of helps communicate to the other infected and how they knew how to go there and kind of get rid of the threat. So even though I'm sure there's a lot of people who are fans of the video game that will be a little bit disappointed that they're not going the whole spore route, I don't blame them for making this important change because it just makes more sense in real life. And I think, you know, there are some things that you are kind of forgiven um, or forgiving when you are explaining certain things in games, just like comic books, right? So I, I actually appreciate this approach and I think it, it makes sense. The test storyline is actually also very different in a way. Um, not in a, not in a bad way, but it it definitely we got more insight on Tess. We kind of see how she sees the world and everything like that. Um, but I wasn't expecting her death to come this early. We're only in episode two, and now we're finally getting it. Um, but then that also makes sense because that kind of happens early on in the game. But it's the way that she died that is very different in the game they're being chased by the government you know fedra you know because they are considered to be part of like the firefly firefly group um who are like renegades outlaws you know they're they're like not bandits but whatever you want to call them they, they they are against what the government is trying to control right so they want the truth to be out they want the freedom um but they you know the government sees them as a threat so they're being chased by them so when they get to that exchange point, um, it becomes more of a setup, more of a trap that the government was just waiting for them there because they knew something was going to happen. They took out those guys that were originally there supposed to meet them. And in the game, Tess kind of, she has a standoff, you know. So she tells Joel and Ellie, you go save yourselves. Ellie is more important to the cause and all that. There's no way you two are going to survive unless someone stays here and fends them off. So Tess basically goes out fighting these people um, and kind of causes that distraction and diversion so that Joel and Ellie can escape. But here they added the element that Tess got bitten and she's going to be she is getting infected. So she's going to die soon. And now you have a horde of infected coming towards them, um, which I guess in this case adds more of that danger element and more of that fear of the infected. I think one of the, the issues that maybe a lot of people got tired of when it came to like The Walking Dead per se was that it was no longer a show about the zombies. It was a show about human survival and the human condition. And it just became a, a thing where it was humans versus humans instead of humans versus the zombie threat, right? Or the zombie plague. Here, it looks like what they're doing is that they're really still maintaining that threat of the infected. Um, how, you know, this is a this is the reason why you should be fearing the infected. Why this is the huge threat and this is the number one threat. Instead of making it more human centric, I'm sure we're gonna get to that point where the human. Uh, threat will also be introduced the more we deal with Fedra, the government, um, you know, the Firefly groups, the Renegades, the Ravagers, the Scavengers. You know, there's a lot of like these other groups, just like in any apocalyptic, you know, post-apocalyptic scenario, uh, you're going to have groups of people who are out there scavenging for, for supplies and goods and they'll do whatever it takes to in order to survive. So we're definitely going to be getting that, but I like how they're still trying to maintain that. No, no, no. The main focus here is the infected, is the fungus. And I think that's one of the reasons why they made that change to the test storyline, to her demise, and kind of how that carries on from here. And it kind of lends itself to the importance of the mission, right? You saw Ellie's face at the end of the episodes, like she was pretty much just like, wow, this is heavy this is intense and this is this is the stakes that are here because of me you know because i need to get to where i need to go because there is an importance that i have there is a role i need to play um so i i did find that extremely interesting and it it's working i again i'm sure twitterverse and the internet all the fans of the video game will have their say on it 
Uh, I'm a fan of the video game too, but I don't mind these changes. Uh, again, you have to allow yourself to accept that things need to change and adapt in order for it to work in a live action series, in a movie, in whatever different adaptation there's going to be. You can't be completely one-to-one -one with the video game. But you also see that they are still trying to hold some of that. You know, They're trying to keep that one-to-one -one connection. The hotel scene, the dialogue, all that stuff. They're still trying to maintain a lot of that. So I'm pretty satisfied so far. I, I thought this was a pretty good episode and an important episode to really understand the threat here and the importance of the mission. So, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to episode three. It looks like we're finally going to get introduced to Bill, who is undoubtedly one of my favorite characters from the game. And it looks like they're, they're making some changes with that character as well. How, you know, his... And I don't want to spoil it yet for those of you who haven't played the game. But there is a certain element to his character that was kind of uh, heartbreaking in the game. And it looks like they're going to decide to do things a little bit different here. And it's with and if you saw that little tidbit, that little teaser that we got for the next episode, it revolves around that character of Frank. So very, very interested to check it out. And I can't wait for next week. What do you all think? How did you like this episode? Was this something that you enjoyed? Are you still enjoying the series so far? It's only episode two. I feel like um, the, the next episode will be pivotal for a lot of people. Uh, some people, like I know, they usually have a three-episode rule that if it, they're still intrigued and they're captured after three episodes have aired, then they're all in. They're, they're going to continue watching the series. You know, I kind of go by that rule, too. Um, but I, I really enjoyed this episode. I thought it was a very good episode. So let me know what you all think. Uh, let's have a discussion. Uh, if you are a fan of the video game like me, how are you liking or disliking the changes that they're making? Let me know in the comments and let's talk about it. Can't wait for next week, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this watch along reaction here. Again, if you haven't done so already, don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Hit that notification bell to get notified every time an episode is uploaded. Can't wait to see you all next week. Stay cool, stay classy, stay safe, and stay sane. And I'll catch you then. All right. Until next time. Peace out, y'all.